So I got a nice delivery in the mail today. The next project. That says it all. Alien 560. I figure this quad will be good for packaging up in the car, taking on trips. <coughs> so that's the compact. I have some side so to try out the uh, 35, 36s. bit bigger than the ones I've normally used. I've only gone with the 2836s up until now. Afro ESCs, I'm a big fan of these. Some wire. Extend the motors out. Connectors. And a bunch of different props to try out. Start. All these props that I'm trying. So we've got the landing legs, we've got these and these. Not, however, a lot of instructions. I'm guessing there's a download on the web for that. So just be aware. No instructions. Alright. Instructions downloaded. Hobby King web website has everything you need. Few different versions. Here's all the parts. Good to go. Oh, how'd that get there? Step one complete. Installation of the arm brackets that will lock them into place whether they're folded out or folded back in for travel. Okay, so the top plate's now on. I've been using these screws for the top and bottom plates. That's per the instructions. Next step is inserting these little black inserts in between the frame, which will hold on the side frame. They look like that. And the screws are in the bag. So in the end, you've now got this carbon plate on the side which is attached to those brackets. And the final part of the main frame is these little lugs front and back to keep the frames nice and solid. It's pretty good. I wouldn't be using Loctite or anything at this point, just because you'll have to pull it all apart. You'll have to take the top off anyway to put the uh, electronics in it. Time to assemble the motor mounts. I was a bit concerned when I first saw the motor mount that these rather large motors wouldn't fit. But it does, not a problem at all. So we're all good to go. Just to give you an example of the difference in size, the one on the right is the 2826 1000 kV, sorry, 1400 kV. The one on the left, 3536 910 kV. So this little chrome piece of plastic basically goes in the end so that when you clamp this up it doesn't crush the carbon fibre ends up looking like so make sure you put the motor amount on the end that doesn't have that little hole in it there we have our four motor we need to add this bit on the end, screw hole into the little hole in the fibre, matches up and put the slotted end in that way so that it can clamp up onto the carbon. 
And there's the completed arms. As you can see, there are two that are slightly longer than the others. The slightly longer ones are for the back. The shorter ones to the front. So now we have the frame. We have the two longer ones. So that's the rear. Like so front, two shorter ones, like so. And then we have a quadcopter frame. Put some feet on it. Ready to start installing some stuff in it. Not as difficult as it first looked. So the landing legs have been started. My one Criticism so far is that the screws that hold these little spaces of the landing legs on are very short and very small threaded so you need to pretty much lock tight them in otherwise they're just going to fall apart very quickly I would guess. I'll be putting cable ties around these just to make sure. There it is. It's folded form. And a nice small footprint. So that folds up. Pops it in here like this. Which is quite a nice compact little unit to put in the car for travelling. And this Final. I wouldn't use these screws, the ones with the little flat heads and the smaller hex on it, they just tend to thread. I've basically used the larger hex nut on all of mine. Luckily I had a bunch of spares from a previous project, or two. The originals that were supplied were pretty crap.